Wolfkill. Welcome back. Gunnar, I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor! Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have willed it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. That should do it. Anything else? And how are you, Gunnar? Holding up? Yeah, work is good and my spirits are strong, but my nights are newly cold. My lady left me, if you have not heard. I had. Sorry to hear it. You were together how long? Uh, five weeks it was. Five beautiful, passionate weeks. But all that is done. Will I never find my Brunhilde? Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Gunnar. Maybe set your sights a bit lower. Lower? My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. I'm not the man to settle for less than the finest of anything. Anything else? That's all for now. Return any time. Wisdom proposed a truce and marriage to the war witch Freya. Oaths were made, horns were raised, and from the gods mingled spit was born. Fully formed, Kvasmir, wiser than Odin himself. This was the same Kvasmir whose stolen blood became the... Is there no one who will go around...
will be Brandy the Deserter! Why are you shouting? Ivan has wandered off again. Every time he claims he got lost in the mountains, I have had enough. If I have to risk more men looking for him, he will be branded and outlawed. Ivan... He's Gunner's sister's son, if I have it right. Do not fire your irons yet. I will have a look around. Do you want to be an outlaw? This is your last chance! Valka? Hush. I need silence to hear the songs of nature. Hamuram. Hamuram. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks, and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... I have come for your advice. On a private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come, but she has me. Now, let us speak to your needs. I have had a vision, a powerful vision. It may have been my battle lust or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf howling and fierce, and then a figure, a gray beard in a cloak with a single eye. He bid me follow him. Ah, the high one. He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you, deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly and unravel the threads that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. Whatever happens, whatever I see, whatever you foretell, it must stay between us. We cannot change the fate we are bound to. What matter who knows and who does not? The outcome will be the same. It matters to me. Drink. If you seek true understanding. Uh, uh, uh. 
Huh? I saw nothing, Volka. Felt nothing. Harvey! Harvey. Harvey! I walk among the dead. Sigurd. Sigurd. Brother, when did you arrive? What is this? It is Valka. I am here. Gods, I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I, I, I was on a mountain in a, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a, a wolf. Mm -hmm. I saw the gates to Odin's Hall of Slain Champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you are destined. I saw Odin and the Nornir spinning the threads of fate. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you and where it ends. And the wolf was eager for my attention, as if it were beckoning me to follow. You are the wolf kissed, fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition or your fear. I do not know what else to say. My, my memories are faint, hazy. Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared, the size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I awoke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory, and you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. 
You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He's my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. No, this is wrong. Oh, you misunderstand. That cannot be right. You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. Ivan is asleep on his watch. That would explain some things. Ivan, wake up! Or you will be cast into the wild! Must stay awake. They could be anywhere. Is he walking in his sleep? They are everywhere. If we die, everyone dies. <clears throat> Must not fall asleep. Need to see them coming. Ivan, wake up! You're headed for the edge! <laughs> Is he going to ride the rope slide? Windy. Storm coming. Ivan! Ivan! Calm down. You are asleep. No! I was flying through the air! In your sleep. A harsh awakening, true. But at least you live. Have you always taken these dream walks? Since my posting here. When I am in bed, I worry about ways we could be attacked. When I'm on watch, I cannot stay awake. Only a fool stays awake all night worrying. You're tired when you get up, and the problem is still not solved. You speak with the wisdom of Odin, Eivor. I will think on these words when I am in bed. Consider them on your watch and sleep when you're in bed. But now, report back before you label the deserter. Go. Show me what lies ahead. Ugh! <laughs> 
Eyes. to find it. Just you wait and see. It must be around here somewhere. I think there are some spots you missed. What are these men hunting for? My coat. Whoever finds it wins an evening of my company. Care to join them? I'll be the one to find it. Just you wait and see. It... My eyes, Sunan. I think this is yours. Halt in your search. A winner. And my comb have been found. Now. The price for finding my comb is some of my time. A walk in nature. Maybe more, if that is where our conversation takes us. I see. Lead on. You're different than the kind my flights of fancy attract. Burdened. Decorated and delicate. Delicate. The others, they are like clubs. Blunt and ungainly. You are nimble. Like a knife. Are you so in need of suitors that any passing woodsman or viking will do? I was married once. My Alfie died five winters back. Ours was a perfect marriage. I do not need another. But, am I to go the rest of my days without love or attention? I think not. And the comb? Could be a comb, could be a brooch, or an arm ring. So long as it's lost, and to be found by a helping hand. Any good tales come of this? Once I thought the same man had stumbled across me three times. Gave me a fright. Turned out to be triplets. If this comb is worth nothing to you, what shall I do with it? You could keep it. Comb your hair. Or... I could comb it if you like. Comb my hair? Is that why those men scrambled over each other? I could do more than comb your hair. Find all your nuts and snags and tame them. If you'd like. My shoulders are tense. And my hair is a tangle. 
I could use a softer touch for these kinks. Then let me. Mmm, delicate touch. Indelicate voice. This Thank you, Beale. You tamed some knots I haven't been able to reach myself. I need your eyes, my friend. They must be finished now. The king has called for his best mead, so the talks are concluded. It should be safe to enter. I'm ready to face the thunder. I will speak with the king now. Excellent, King Stierbjorn. I will take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the... May the winds favor your voyage, Guthormer. Eivor, come forward and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances? Waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies and our victory is guaranteed. Do we have any allies to speak of? Or is that your excuse to do nothing? Your confidence blinds you to so much in plain sight, Eivor. Day and night I toil to forge ties with clans to the north. Very soon you will see the fruits of my efforts. Only then will you understand. Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Varin. Your father was a fine man. Just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go! Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. 
until it's wiped clean. I want nothing else. I refuse to pick at that wound again. But if there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts... Sigurd has come! Down at the docks, his ship is here! Careful with that one. Hey, Vaughn! See you good. <laughs> oh, look at you, blood soaked drinker. Oh, have you been worrying without me? Oh, and you, salt cured Vikinger. I smell the stink of a dozen kingdoms in your beard. It's just the start. Brandy, my dear wife, your husband returns. Bringing gifts and riches to share. And new friends, I see. Yes. Basim and Hytham. We met in Miklagant, and they showed me her buried secrets. We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation and eager to pay tribute to your king. My brother is always very careful with the company he keeps. If you're standing safely beside him, he must like you. Ah, Eivor. Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see my father. Tell him of my time away. This morning we traded with a ship passing south. They told us Eivor the Wolf Kist was captured by Kjotve's men. They must have cut the tail short. I killed my captors and recovered my crew. And for that your father scolded me. You know where I stand, brother. Nothing short of war will dislodge Kjotve from our lands. But he disagrees. I know. I know. Father thinks too much and acts too little. Today that changes. To I again, promise you. Friend. By the winter's end, the name Kurt with the Cruel will be a curse on the lips of a drunken fool. My son, welcome home. Uh, father. Tonight, we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread and mead. And no more, I beg you. 
I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me be the one to honor you. I bring gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away, I am full up with both. Very well, very well. Come inside. And when we are fat and satisfied, father, we will talk of Kyotre and his clan, and how we may end their terror once and for all. He has dogged us too long, shamed us for too many seasons. I know this. Eivor knows this. It ends now. Yes, of course, when the time is right. <laughs> Through Rusland we barreled down the Volga River, raiding as we went, shadowy tribes hurling spears at our ship. At Miklagard, we saw men bedecked in riches as vibrant as the Biverest itself. And these we took for our troubles, of course. We sailed to Rome, then Africa, past oceans of sand, warriors of all colors, and beauty the eyes must weep to behold. And now I have returned, with riches and glory to share with my family, my friends, my eyes for Strengir. So take what you desire from my horn, for this, this is only a taste of things to come. Tomorrow, the Raven Clan starts anew. Skull, Sigurd. Skull! And you, Eivor, come. I have something special for you. This way, you give the weights. I thought long and hard on a gift worthy of you. You've snared my curiosity, brother. What is it? Not yet. Drinks first. <laughs> to my first night in Thornburg in over two winters, it must end with me soaked and wall-eyed, shouting at the shadows of trolls. And you want me to sail with you on these honey waves? Yes. You are stuck with me, Dringul. Now drink. Thor to shame. Forgive me. On your first day back, I should have let you win. <laughs> Gods, you should have let me start. It is good to have you back, Sigurd. Yes. I've missed this terribly. When I first met Basim, I regaled him with tales of our homeland. And it was then I felt a hard longing to return at once. <laughs> Come. This brings us to your gift. These excellent men were my shepherds through much of their homeland, the Abbasid Caliphate. They are a clan not joined by blood, but by a common idea. A brotherhood of shadows executing their own form of justice. In my time with them, they shared many of their most hidden secrets, for which I am grateful. And now... I gift one of these secrets to you. A weapon for the finest warrior I know. Hytham is not amused, it seems. Am I not worthy of this gift? It is not about worth, Eivor. It is a matter of devotion to our creed and... and training. Please. Mentor, I must protest. This is deeply unorthodox. Our wrist blade is a sacred tool. Do not tool. make a fetish out of cold metal, Hytham. What matters is the mind of the one who wields it. Please, try it on. The blade should ride on the underside of your arm, to conceal it from your target. I have no wish to hide this, and I would rather not make the same mistake you two have. I like it. 
This is no mistake. This is a voluntary sacrifice to prove our devotion to... A good start, Eivor. But you must learn how to use it effectively. Outside. This is not something for all eyes. Lead on. This clan of yours, it has a name? Indeed. But among the tenants of our creed is a vow to never reveal too much to outsiders. In time, you may learn more. Not here, where the walls and trees may have ears. I look forward to it. Here, let me lead you through our most basic techniques. Wielded with skill and care, our blade delivers a singular killing blow. As you near your target, find your window to strike. Timing is essential. Nicely done. I have not seen a blade so sharp. Some targets are trickier than others. Keep that in mind before you strike. A decent attempt. Take that one down from the ledge. Exactly, just like that. How about a challenge? Leap down upon that target from above. A perfect strike. Use your surroundings when possible. Strike from that haystack, for instance. That's it. Mentor, does Eivor intend to join us? I am aware. Why offer him the blade? Surely we have more... Python. Oh. Exactly, just like that. You wield the blade well. Let us leave Eivor to enjoy his gift in peace. Come. Eivor, let us walk to the docks and take in the night air. What do you make of my new friends? They seem generous, and menacing in equal measure. I know what you mean. They have learning, too. They wield numbers and writing, as if it were magic. Basim has shown me so much about the world, all of which I will share with you when the time is right. Oh, I miss the smell of this land. Have you returned for good? Or do you mean to join this Shadow Brotherhood? Leave all that aside, Aivor. Tonight we are family again. The here and now is what matters. Our kinship. Our clan. Our glory. I missed you, brother. Your clear head and your courage. We have not had enough of both in recent months. <laughs> you flatter me, wolf kissed. Keep it up. From here to Valhalla, I will always be on your side, Sigurd. Always. This fjord has grown too small to contain me, or I too large. There is so much more beyond these stony fangs that rise around us. England, Ireland, Francia, all greener pastures, ripe for the plucking. Tomorrow, we make new war on Kyrtve and reclaim the lands he took from us. And from there, we build a kingdom for us. I'm with you. Only say the word. Good. Get some rest, and return here at first light. The Nordnir have spoken. You will betray Sigurd. No! This is wrong! That cannot be right! Ah!
Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. You will betray Sigurd. Shit. Kjotve's warriors. Sunin, guide me. Just the three of us. We should return to not fall with our report when we can. We can bring Kjotve news of the longships. Or we can wake him with Sigurd Stirbjörnsson's head. Which is better? about this land, my friend. Gross. We do not have the men to storm Kjotve's fortress. The losses would ruin us. The losses have ruined us, father. Until we cut off this serpent's head, it will poison us day by day, drop by drop. The poison has already polluted our waters. God save all. What happened? Spies in our camp. Three men sent by Kjotve to kill us as we slept. I returned the favor. There, you see? This is what waiting brings. We must answer this insult. They came from Nottfall, that wailing village under Kjotve's control. We hid him there. Burn it down before Kjotve learns his spies are dead. He may have sent more. I can search the village while you round up the crew. No need. I will send Hytham to search the area. You can rely on him while we are away. We? Do you mean to join us? I have not been bred for Valhalla like you, but this will be far from my first battle. I do not like this, but I will not stop you. Do not lead my son into the same storm that follows you. <laughs> <laughs> 